Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some Guild Wars. And actually now it's gonna last. We're actually gonna fight before it ends. It is amazing! Okay, wait. I believe we have a lot of swords left. 18. Kator didn't attack yet. God. God, God, God damn it. Um, this time... I'm still gonna do my fights, but because we're so far ahead, um, I'm gonna try to pick on some of the plus trees. Let's hope this guild actually has. Oh my! Oh my fucking god! Why do they do this? This is so horrible. Is it for everyone? God damn it! You gotta be kidding me! Why do they do this? This is so stupid. Oh my god, the whole guild does it? Okay, I don't... I'm just gonna attack them anyways. This is probably the worst setup I could attack, so let's just go for that guy. That second defense is not, like, impossible. Um, first defense, I don't have to think about it. Thing, I just... Thank you, thank you. And... I could just take you. Don't need you on the second fight anyways. Second fight, we take you, we take uh, you, I believe, I actually believe, no, no, I have to take Iona, okay, I don't know what's going on, but this guild has like an uh, ID, I don't know what they're doing, but I think they were like, okay, we put one really good defense in and one stick, uh, bad one or something, but I don't know what they're trying to pull here. Are they trying to drop rank or what else? What else would they do? Let's see. Goodbye. Okay, thank you for round one. Round two will be actually a challenge. Uh, we have to kill Vanessa first. And then uh, Iona most likely. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Holy shit, did you guys see that? 24k? Wow. Um, I should be able to get the turn before, but am I right? No? Wow. What the heck went that? What the heck was that about then? Not getting the turn before Perna. Holy cow. Let's try to get a stun there. I believe that Perma is on the... Um, on the... Uh, rage or something, instead of violent. God damn it, I think I'm gonna lose my unit again with the defense break on. I'm not so sure. Okay, I should be able to get the turn now. Get the stun, that was amazing. Get rid of you. Actually, let's just attack for now for a moment. Pollen Blossom will be used. Urgh. Stun him before he goes off with his damage. Oh my god, this is gonna hurt. Oh, 18k. So painful. That's ah, not much I can do. <laughs> I'm gonna win this, don't worry. Don't worry, guys, I'm gonna win this. Eventually. He's gonna kill my unit again. 7k. I wish I could do like a heal so I can. Okay, I can do a heal. This should almost be enough to kill uh, soon. Let's see if we can do some of that. Oh, I'm not 100% sure if this kills too soon. Taking another turn, however, is not gonna end pretty. Okay, nice. I could have very well been. Couldn't. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That could have very well been not enough damage there, so that was uh, kinda nice. But you see guys, this guild actually has like a really good second defense. But it's first defense. I, I mean, why the heck would you do that? Um, I mean, just build the other team as well. Why not? You could at least uh, try people to drag out uh, some units on the first round. So the second round uh, will be tougher for them because they get less choice out of units. That's, that's at least something you could do. 
I don't think they do it for lower ranks because otherwise you wouldn't put in a good second round. If you want to lower your ranks, you just don't put in anything special. I don't know what they're thinking. Straw at the same goes for this team. Although there's a fire unit over there. Let's just use the old setup for some cleaning. Um, actually, I think I gotta go with the same setup just to make sure that that perma doesn't kill me. I kind of um, hope, yeah, I can faster. Kind of wish, uh, wish that these guild battles were like completely normal. <laughs> But they're not. I could have reset there. Hmm. Ah well. Okay, nice. No stun on my unit. Glancing it. Try again. That is why Kona is so good. Basically, you can use your DPS units kind of as having Violet. I want to see how hard that unit hits. Without a defense break, obviously, because I don't want to see if you can own me. Ooh, nice. No extra turn there for the 7k. Whoa. Okay, we got this. I hope so. Uh, let's just try to get extra turns. Okay, we got this. We got this. Goodbye. Next up, I think we go for the Pioneer. I think the Pioneer could hit pretty hard. I haven't seen years on damage, that's for sure. Okay, let's see. 7k. Wait, that was it? I gotta say, I got the defense buff up and stuff, and he didn't get buffed. So it's not like a bad hit at all. But I, I mean, the, anima the, anima uh, the animation was looking like really cool lightning from the sky going down. And then, but then it was like 7k. Now, that was disappointing, right? I thought it would at least be like 2 hits. But if that hit would be 80k, then I would be impressed. Then I would be impressed indeed. Uh, did he die already? I don't know. Uh, he dies now and then. Doesn't really matter. Eventually you'll die twice anyways. These guys that have those burners, those... Burners hit very, 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 very hard. Now, this guy was 18k, but the other one was 25k with... I think he had an attack buff, but that still, it's quite uh, quite a hit. Okay, we won. Is this guy even attackable? Yes, I think. No, damn it. This is also destroyed. Oh my god. The thing is with this guy... I don't feel confident enough to beat the speed team there, so that's why I don't go for it. Uh, I just don't have that speed. Da, da, da. Uh, second fight. Again, that Perna. You will attack Iona. Yeah, I believe that. That's how we do it. Uh, I don't know what people are pulling with uh, Guild Wars. I really don't. Yay. Thank you. Having one hard match like, and the other one is easy makes like Guild Wars kind of... Oh god. Oh god, if he gets next turn I'm gonna get doomed. I'm probably getting stunned right now. Yep. <laughs> this always happens. It always happens. Burna, if he goes on Remagos and I don't have immunity, you get stunned. Gotta be kidding. Get him. Yo! You gotta be kidding me. I know it's my last fight, but I still don't want to lose my unit there. God damn it. Degrees of that. I don't know. Stop hitting me. God damn it. You freaking defense breaker. You, oh my god! Don't dare to do it! Don't dare to do it! I'm gonna lose my unit! No! You are ridiculous! God damn it! Why? 
Why do you have to break my defense? Ugh. This is gonna be very, very, very tough if I want to win this. Oh my god, this is not good. Can I get Lee's immunity so it can do a clean shot? I think I have to get rid of the defense break first. Oh my god. Get me a turn. Get me a turn. Please do it now. <gasps> Leave it. Oh my god, why did you have to do that? Oh, this is really dangerous because uh, the damage the Pernak hand put out could potentially be a lot more than I can handle. But if I can get my clean shot up fast enough and get another kill, I should be okay. I should be. I'm not saying I will be. <laughs> but I'm going to try to kill Perna now um, and then clean shot him to get rid of him. Good, we're immune right away. Get Zakhild. So this is really uh, how tough this guild can be. Like they have good defenses, but they just don't want to have two. <laughs> okay, that one, that is one, and they should be two. Yeah, okay, GG. Now I won. Because there's little to no chance that Vermos is going to solo my Ramagos and my brown, uh, yeah, my Draco. So yeah, God damn it! This episode will be like ten minutes because of that. They don't have like decent defense. That sucks. That really does. You. God damn it! That that is not fun. Um. Ooh, let's check the shop for a quick moment. Okay, that's something a subscriber of me, mine, uh, asked. Um, he asked, actually, I thought it was a really good question. Um, Blackie, could you tell us, or me, he said, I don't know what he said, us or me, but what um, Aquilia and uh, Bryant, like, what does that make... Um, no, no, what does that make? How do they improve your team? And I'll tell you. Okay, here we go. Um, first off, Aquilia. Aquilia is, um, is kind of a difficult unit to use. Um, not because the unit, not the unit itself, obviously, but to put them in a team. But the reason why he will help me is because he has an AoE dispel that has a 100% chance of hitting. It can still be resisted because people have resistance and it but the, the skill itself most likely will hit all the time especially if you're 100% actually most of the time it's it's pretty reliable uh, so i can debuff the people and i and he has the buff so i can debuff them and i get the buff which is good because that is sometimes really needed sometimes you face like chloe teams that before I couldn't really Lucian at all because Chloe would buff and then I would have to sit out uh, quite a bit of damage. And sometimes I killed Lucian in that. With this unit I can di dispel them and if I get lucky because he's on violent I might get the second turn and even buff up. Um, so then I can just use Lucian against some comps. Uh, he is situational um, but he's definitely really good. So I really like him. Uh, for that matter um, Plus he's like my only buffer right now if you except for Konamiya as being six star um, He is the only buffer I have and I did use Shannon and seek to fuse him or to fuse him to uh, six star him, but Because I make the cool. Yeah, I didn't really need Shannon and seek anymore uh, Because this was becoming my buffer of course Shannon has different uh, buffs as being defense instead of crit rate or and uh, seek has the same buff but is a fire unit um, and does more damage like way more damage so they're different obviously but in my current um, monster um, monsters how I would use him monsters uh, usage with with Aquilia I would use him with Konami uh, Lucian and uh, Sigmarus mainly 
And Sieg uh, does pair up well with uh, Lucian, but I don't really find myself having too much, too few damage to get to finish the job because I almost always pair him with Jameer, and then I get like enough. And then we got Bryant. How does Bryant affect my game? Well, I'm having a second revival, which will help me quite a bit uh, when it comes to Guild Wars because I can actually run a team that has a second like also has a revive so I could be um, for example uh, the first team runs against a really heavy fire team where I often use uh, Remagos, Draco and Iona uh, because it's too risky uh, to uh, not go with Iona if they have like a perma plus uh, a Vanessa or uh, a beast monk something like uh, another fire DPS that can do some really heavy damage like monkey king um, and then uh, I ha I don't have a second reviver. And then the second team, if that's also pretty tanky, but I it's it's different. Um, I could use Bryant first of all to tank fire DPSers, and second of all to take like a team that's a lot more uh, dangerous. Yeah, I, I would say dangerous. For example, I could take Sigmarus or Lucian, for example, and Baladion uh, and Bryant. So. Then I can just do Lucian, and if Lucian dies, I'll just revive him and heal up with Belladion. So that that opens me up. And for Arena, um, for Arena, right now I have a really uh, annoying defense in. This is just no fun. Like double revive, uh, a removal of debuffs, and a defense break, uh, and and obviously heals. I mean, it's no fun to fight against. This team is solely based on trying to hold you in this arena with me as long as possible. Um, why did I go for a team that is not actually uh, capable of doing much? Is not really posing a threat to get a kill? Because I think I don't really need to get the kill. I just need to make you, first of all, don't want to attack me or just stick with me in arena for 10 minutes. Because this will decrease the amount of attacks I get. And that... Also, like getting less attack will also give me more. Um, I will I will hold on to my rank easier. So that's what I aim for. Um, I must say, if you go for an offensive defensive, <laughs> there we go, an offensive defensive. Um, where is it? Obviously, these these attacks. I I just put it in, so I can't really tell you uh, how it does. But I don't believe I will win the fight. Uh, but if you would go, for example, Lucian and uh, and Seek and, and, and something, I believe um, if you go with defense that is doing damage, it has to be very fast and has to boost attack gauge, so you get a lot of attacks in. Um, and I also believe that Chloe is pretty good for having on your defense when you're running squishy units, just to get that first turn. And I don't really think I have those units that I could. I could potentially run Aquilia and something like Lucian and then something like uh, Jameer or, or some sort of speed leader. And then some sort of, uh, I don't know, Konamiya or, or Baladion. Uh, or even uh, Draco. But yeah, it, it's so risky. Uh, and I, I don't really try to uh, to win the fight, I just try to uh, hold people off as long as possible. Because especially in the last hour, if people take a lot of time to beat me, I kind of win. Because uh, I can do more matches than them within that time. So I jump rank and I don't blo drop rank. Uh, also, uh, something quick to mention, because this video was way too short. Not that it was too short, but the battles that I did. Power Stone event. I got some questions today. Um, I gotta say this. Monday, I did farm like uh, 62 to 70 uh, stones. Tuesday, I did not farm. I didn't do. I didn't do any kind of farming uh, because my girlfriend's birthday was that day, and uh, besides, I had to go to the to work, and I had. To go to my girlfriend's birthday so i had no time 
And today I did farm a bit, uh, not the entire time, but I got 103, is it? Yeah, I got 103 power stones. And some people are having trouble farming them. I know some people will probably have like 200 already, or even more, um, depending on how crazy they go. What I do, it's really simple, it, it's nothing special. I farm normal. And try to find a stage where you can where can you farm uh, it fast. Like this, this is a stage that I would recommend to people if you cannot farm Fame and Hell or Aiden. Uh, sorry, if you cannot farm, uh, well, you will be able to farm. If you have a wind unit on DPS, this is really the fastest way to clear something. But uh, this is giving you more money than the other one. And because it's normal, it's super easy. So what I do, I just go and just do that and just keep going. And every time I keep refreshing, I keep refreshing. It will take you a lot of crystals to get a lot of stones. But make sure if you're having enough good runes that you want to upgrade, it's really worth it. Like it, it is worth it because um, today I already upgraded like six uh, runes to plus 50. But for example, today, I only spent like 200k on plus 15 in a rune. Just 200. You know how little that is? Normally I have to spend 500k to upgrade something. A half million. for It's crazy. And now just 200k? Well, I'll, I'll take that. I will gladly give out my uh, crystals to boost up my runes. I, I definitely do. So that's why I would say just use your crystals for refills to get more stones. It's definitely worth it unless you're low level and you kind of don't really have runes you want to upgrade anyways and um, then like three to four star runes are uh, are like not really worth it and five star runes are also they have to have good substats but if you're level 30 to 40 you probably have some runes that are pretty good that you could upgrade to plus 15 relatively cheap and uh, yeah I just uh, would recommend you to use refills as much <laughs> as you can because it's all based on luck guys it's all based on luck how to make uh, it go how to get more stones is based on luck as well but if you do mo more time if you see that victory in your screen more often you'll eventually uh, get the stones if you won't if you do it on hell for example you will see the victory less often uh, because one it costs more energy and two it costs more time so uh, it will not be as fast as you guys can see this is actually not like super fast this run is actually pretty slow because sometimes I don't always kill every unit and then you see my fodder attack which is bad because that takes away time so this is the run I do right now which is kind of the slow version of what I what I've been doing uh, Monday for example but I have an XP booster and this actually gives me some decent XP and this rune sells for 800 in comparison to what I will get in this stage but I'll show you guys um, this stage is like super fast unless my unit <laughs> decides to not AoE but he has to AoE uh, most of the time he will do that so okay this is clear next stage this sucks because now it will take quite long because my units start attacking my fodder basically okay we cleared that now I hope he does that for last skill again but he didn't that is something that makes the run faster or not but if overall you will do clear the stage in one AoE so this is super fast and this is like super fast to get everything done um, and if you, you could Potentially, but as you guys can see, this only gives 300, so the other one is double the amount of mana, and uh, that's why I do it. And I don't really like it, it, it's not like that much slower. But for example, you could do hard if you want to, but it will just take you longer, you, you will see it less often. So, this is really uh, like this. I'm gonna show you guys how fast this would be with Lucian if I would uh, manual it. Because if you could do that, if you have that that freaking uh, 
opportunity to just do it manually you will do it super fast because you will never uh waste time well uh with with your father see how fast you can do this it's crazy in on auto he does this sometimes as well but not always and then you just get going the reason why i do aim for is you get a little bit more money a bit more xp uh that's the reason nothing else um it's not necessary i just like it so that's what you uh that's what i do to get my crystal uh power stones and uh i got upgrade i already upgraded quite a lot i actually uh the last thing i'm going to show you guys um is that i'm actually having i have a violent set that's finished like i upgraded this it's pretty good rune right upgraded this eh, it's kind of bad and i'm working on this rune it's plus for 14 let's see if we can get the last level um but this is all done with power stones and i i didn't really spend as much um money on those at all i guess one is also pretty nice but i got a full violent set of plus 15 on attack which is a good set as well and i just don't have a unit for it now you guys would say lucky you have enough units for them why won't you use the set on on whatever i'm i'm just saying uh, sigmars for example yeah i know but i don't want to use it on sigmars because it's not that relevant for him uh, where i use him um in arena mainly now uh, when he just needs to hit as hard as he can which i think rage uh, blade is a bit better at it but yeah uh, i just think i want to do like a rahuk rogue whatever you call it on violence or something i don't know there we go did you see how cheap that was that was one level of course it was one level but it was the last one i i spent like what eight crystal ten crystals ten i think ten that wasn't too expensive so crazy it's crazy good how, how good these stones are obviously maybe that was a bit lucky but still really good so yeah that was it guys um got nothing to add anymore uh, though I, I've said everything I wanted, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the guild bell being short. I uh, couldn't really do too much about it because of these douche packs <laughs> putting in weird defenses. Pac Man, god damn it, don't tell me I know this guy. You actually have a def. What the? F why do you. I don't understand. Okay, this guy is. Oh my god, if you actually got that unit from the ranking, that would be crazy. What the heck are these guys doing? They want to draw. Okay, some people didn't do it, but what about this guy? It, it, oh my god, that is no fun. But yeah, that happens. Uh, sorry for that, but I hope you still enjoyed, and I want to see you guys uh, in the next video. Yeah, I I really do. Um, so if you like the video, please like it and. Uh, yeah, tell your friends if you want to. More subscribers is always good. <laughs> now, but um, about that more subscribers thingy, uh, I actually uh, got close to 3,000 already. And I'm astounded by that. Like, I'm pretty astounded. And I know, like, some YouTubers actually uh, went even way crazier. Like, uh, Nick the Greek, he wrote, like, he had 100 subscribers when I got what a thousand to fifteen hundred no at eight hundred i think it wasn't that big as that that and now he has over five thousand probably six thousand already i mean wow that dude grow like immense and i know exactly why he grew because he's one of the top guild a member of the top guilds why wouldn't you watch him right i would definitely uh, uh want to watch that because you can learn from him. But uh, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.